Hello everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. I'm always so blessed as we have this time together to share in God's Word. I think about these things. We've done literally hundreds of these now. And uh, you can always go to the Word for Today with Ray in the podcast section and see the other books that we've shared on. But as we do this verse by verse, line upon line, precept upon precept, you just kind of gain a greater knowledge and a more complete understanding of what Jesus was trying to say as we take it word by word. And I pray you're being blessed that not only are you learning through these podcasts, but you're being inspired to study the Word of God on your own. God wants to speak to all of us. The Holy Spirit is our teacher, and that's why we go to Him in prayer as we begin our study. So if you will, pray with me today. Heavenly Father, we again thank you for another opportunity to share in your word. We're excited about what we're going to learn today. We know that you have something special for us, and I pray that you will open our hearts and our minds, our eyes and our ears to receive from you. Lord, we're always so blessed to have your word. We're grateful for it. We don't want to take it for granted. We know that without you, we wouldn't even have the word of God. So we bless you today and we thank you for the goodness that you share with us and pray that you would bless us as we study together. We'll give you thanks for this in Jesus' name. Amen. The title to today's lesson is One Work and You All Marvel. And it's taken from the book of John chapter 7 and verse 21. The Apostle John wrote how in the middle of the feast, Jesus went up into the temple and taught. And the Jews marveled, saying, How knows this man letters having never learned? Jesus answered them and said, My doctrine is not mine, but his that sent me. If any man will do his will, he shall know of the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. He that speaks of himself seeks his own glory, but he that seeks his glory that sent him, the same is true, No, and no unrighteousness is in him. Did not Moses give you the law, and yet none of you keeps the law? Why go you about to kill me? The people answered and said, You have a devil. Who goes about to kill you? And in chapter 7 and verse 21 of his book, John shared out Jesus told the people, I have done one work, and you all marvel. Where we read, Jesus answered and said unto them, I have done one work, and you all marvel. The verse reads, Jesus answered and said unto them. John began with the words, Jesus answered, or the Son of God, the Savior of mankind, and God incarnate, whose name means Jehovah is salvation, responded and began to speak, and said unto them, which means and uttered, declared, and proclaimed the following words. John shared how Jesus began to respond to the Jews who told him he had a devil and wondered who went about to kill him. The verse goes on to say, I have done one work, and you all marvel. John continued with the words, I have done one work, which means I, Jesus, have made ready, performed, and produced a single undertaking act and deed, and you all marvel, or, and you, Jewish accusers, each, every, the whole, and everyone, wonder and have me in admiration. John shared how Jesus told the Jewish people who wondered about him that he had produced only a single act and they were all marveling at him. When we think through John's words in this verse, we learn how Jesus responded to the people who told him he had a devil and wanted to know who among them was wanting to kill him. Jesus remarked at their observance of him doing one work and marveling at him, and because they did not want to believe in him, they only served to criticize. Jesus had the Son of God, or excuse me, they had the Son of God, the Messiah, and Christ before them, and they would not trust in him to be their Savior and Lord. There are some people who will not believe, regardless of the proof God gives concerning his son Jesus. This was true when Jesus was on the earth, and it's true today. God, however, loves people beyond their unbelief and will continue to pursue them to be in a personal relationship with him until the day they take their last breath. God sent his son Jesus to offer salvation to mankind. And the way to gain access to him is to receive his son Jesus and not just marvel. Next time, John shares how Jesus tells the people, you on the Sabbath day circumcise a man. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. 
May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word. In Jesus' name.